Um, and the first one that we've got today relates to the Speedy B uh, VESC. And I'll do the background this time, and then you do the update. And the background is that people with the Speedy B V2 ESC, the ESCs were burning up, burning. We contacted Speedy B, and they said, oh, it's, I mean, it's pretty rare, it's pretty seldom, and uh, if it happens, just have them get in touch with us, we'll give them a new ESC. And you and I thought that, we were like, I don't think anybody should buy these ESCs. I think, because we were hearing from people who said they had two or three burned ones. And uh, now we have an update. Yeah. So I would, a full four weeks here, uh, three and a four half, weeks. four weeks after the original message, uh, we have an update from Speedy Bee, who has decided to finally release uh, a statement saying, hey, these things are messed up, so be aware. Uh, these are the batches that happens on, which are the ones we talked about before, the V2 or V2-1. And basically they're saying, like, sometimes it'll randomly fuse to arm anyway uh, okay. if you're on bidirectional D-shot. But it's only ten to twenty percent of the time, and once it arms, no. it should be good. But also, don't <laughs> use the beeper like we talked about. Don't use the beeper because uh, it fries your motors or it fries your ESC. Yes, and then also that private firmware they emailed out to people. Yeah, that that quote unquote fix things. You mean the firmware that fix things? Yeah, uh, they <laughs> have admitted that is burning the motors, like we reported to you previously. Yeah, so it's bad. Is the takeaway? Yeah. It's not great. And it's they still bad. don't really have a fix. Basically, their fix is, uh, you know, you don't use bidirectional D-shot. That's uh, not... No. Yeah. I mean, if you already own this ESC, and it's the only ESC in the world that you have, and you can't get a new one, I, it's, a def it's a defective product. They should recall it. They should give people their money back, and or they should replace it with something that works. Clearly, yeah. that's the thing to, that a, a normal company would do in a situation like yeah. this. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you there for sure. Is there any uh, way to know if someone was going to buy an ESC, is there any way to know before they put their money down which one they were getting? Or should, it, should they just avoid all SpeedyB ESCs? Um, so right now it's the V2 stack and it's the newer versions, but the newer versions are V2 and V2.1. So as far as I know, it's any that are in the stack or any SpeedyB ESC that you would purchase that's the 45 amp 4 in 1. So The 45 amp 4 in 1. Yeah, there's no um, V2.2, as far as I know. You know, they haven't made a revision that fixes this. They're still trying to work with BL Heli. And they mentioned in the post here they have a test version on 3.2.8.3, but they need to test it more and they can't confirm that it works. So. so their hope is that they can get a version of BL Heli out that doesn't have the problem, whatever the problem is. They can have yeah. some kind of tweaks to the dead time or whatever. I mean, yeah. I don't well, understand. It has example, to... Like, this, this is a change in bill of materials, right? So they changed the MCUs on the on the on the ESC, and then oh. it wasn't ready. So like they just sent it, they just shipped it, and we're like, oh, it'll work fine because they're supported by BL Heli, but they hadn't actually been heavily tested in that design. And then they started. That's what's changed is they switched to presumably an F4 since that's what everybody's doing. It, no, it's like uh, some other weird. It's like E something. I can't remember offhand mm. exactly what it is, but there's a specific uh, change they made that's not typically supported by BL Heli. Um, gotcha. And it's something they're working on. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, now set, uh, make a new segment of the show in which we call the com comedic comment of the night. Get ready to laugh, um, everybody. Get the laugh track ready. Do you, do you see it? <laughs> PDXFPV uh, in the Discord says, but it's the sellers who are losing out, right? Because if a product burns out for no reason, you just send it back. <laughs> CDXFPV, maybe he, maybe he lives in Europe where there are actual consumer protection laws. I don't know, but uh, no, no. I mean, they should, they should. A yeah. reputable store should take this product back and replace it with a good product. But I, I, even a reputable store, I wouldn't be surprised to hear that they're saying, look, this is a run cam problem or a speed, sorry, speedy B and run cam are the same company. It's a speedy B problem. Uh, and you got to take it up with them. I mean, I, even a good store, I, I like. I would say that there's like a fifty-fifty chance that they take the hit on this. Yeah, totally I don't depends. know. And this one can be hard too because uh, if you like crash it and then it burns up or whatever in flight, it can be hard to prove. Exactly. It, and, it really just depends on where you buy it, your reputation with the company, and what they feel like doing in that case. Probably the support agent you get too. I would there, say. 
There's no question to me that this product is so fundamentally screwed up. And this message from from Speedy B acknowledging it, like if the best you can come up with is ah, just don't use bidirectional D shot or motor beeper. And if you do, maybe 10 percent of the time, your motor doesn't start spinning. No, like uh, until now, I've hesitated a little bit. I said I said, don't buy these ESCs, but I didn't say they should right. recall them and give everyone their money back. Because I don't know how many of them are frying. But if that's the best right. they can come up with, they should recall the product. They should give everyone their money back or they should replace it with a different ESC that actually works and they should just stop selling it. This yeah. is a, yeah, this, and the, if the, the longer they go without doing that, the worse I feel about them as a company. Sorry. Test your shit. Also. Yeah. They're screwing mm -hmm. their customers. Yeah. They, they, they are. Also, and, they're and, using and, them as. Go ahead. Sorry. Just to say, they're also using them as testers by like, here's another firmware. Try this, <laughs> you know. And meanwhile, even for the people who did get a replacement ESC, if your ESC burns out mid-flight and crash your quad, and your quad goes in a river, you're, no. you you break your GoPro, you break a motor. People are losing more than just the ESC when these things crash. And normally yeah. I would say, well, that's not the ESC manufacturer's fault. That's just the chance you take when you fly. But in this case, Runcam Speedy B knows that the ESC is defective. They are continuing to sell it. They are crossing their fingers and hoping they can fix it. And people are losing money. And it's, it's, it's absolutely inappropriate. So. Yeah. There absolutely. you go. All right. Enough said. Don't buy don't buy at least that Speedy B, and and honestly, I don't feel great about yeah, hard, Speedy B in general. To recommend, yeah, it's hard for me to recommend anything by them at this point. Maybe uh, we can see some better stuff by them or some solutions for them to redeem themselves. Yeah. But for me, like, yeah, I don't see a reason to recommend them because we know if something fucks up, they're not just going to go send it back. We'll give you money, you know. They'll go, here, try this firmware, and then maybe it'll blow up in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> This is pretty far. I mean, I I, ex I don't expect much from manufacturers in this field compared to like, you know, an actual co retail company, a consumer goods company like a Sony or Ford or I don't know. But right. but this is even below the standard, uh, I think, of of what we normally expect. Look what yeah. GemFan did with the F3 and the F4 props. Total recall. Yeah. They said send them back to the dealers. We will replace them. We'll give you coupons. They did right. That's how this should be handled. It sucks that yep. it's not because of money, obviously, because of money.